Hey guys, real quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate third-party plugins in FL Studio. Let's get into it. Normally for an FL Studio plugin, you just right click a knob and then it'll drop down and you can make whatever connections, automations you wanna do. But for a third-party plugin, I've got little Alter Boy here. Uh, what you have to do is you have to twist whatever knob you wanna automate, go up to Tools, then go to Last Tweaked, and then you can go ahead and do whatever you would do normally. You can create an automation clip or link to controller. It's just that simple. So there you have it. There's a little automation clip there. Now sometimes this doesn't work, and if this isn't working for you, then there's something really important you need to check, and that's making sure you have the VST version of the plugin loaded up instead of the AU version. Because I had the AU version of this plugin loaded up, that's why I'm making this video, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. You can go into the plugin manager and see if it's the AU or BST, and I'll show you that right here. More plugins, and then uh, manage plugins, and then you can scroll down and see whatever one you had selected. There's the AU version. I had to do a little bit of digging to find the VST. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have any questions? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time.